Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Tuesday and I just decided today I wasn't going to wear any scrubs, uh, but I'm still doing what I'm doing, no change. Um, you know, this week, uh, just pretty much, you know, within the last seven days, I haven't had no motivation to go shopping or do any of these deals. Um, I think it's, it started like maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I just stopped getting the itch. Now, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, I just haven't had any of that, you know, but like, okay, the next deal, next deal, like I normally do. And... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I haven't looked at any of the CBS ads still today. It's now Tuesday. Uh, I do need to look at my upper wards. I think I have some expiring today or tomorrow. So uh, I might have to make a run in the afternoon. I left some coupons at home. There were some uh, of the Irish Spring. Uh, you know, I think we got a coupon for like a dollar fifty after a red box coupon. I mean, I'm sorry, after the in-ad coupon. So, I need to pick up some ads because I want to pick up a couple of those because those things do sell when I sell them. Uh, they usually, they get pulled off the shelf uh, from this one girl that usually always buys from us. Um, so, I do need to go in and probably burn some upper words. I don't know how many they'll allow me to do because technically, it said, you know, the coupon says one per, one per person or whatever, bull crap. But what I want to do is I try to use as many of those because I got some men one dollar manufacturer coupons that were in a, a in ad it was an ad coupon that comes out almost about a monthly basis over at the what's it called it is called the Winco it's a it's a it's a store uh, market uh, if you have one in your area they usually come out towards the first towards the first around the first of the month uh, with the ad of a bunch of different coupons you can use. They do have the Winco, uh, Winco ad on there, but usually I just cut that part out. Uh, I don't have any problems and cashiers never question me about it. And if they do, I just tell them that it's just, that's just how they've been, that's how I, they've been, when I cut the, cut the coupon out. So, uh, I don't know how many they allow me to do, but I think I have at least 20 of those uh, $1 manufacturer coupons. So I do need to see about doing that, and I might burn some upper wards doing that. And I know there's just a couple of deals out there. I don't. I was looking at LA Savings 8, and she only picked up like two things. Uh, not what I plan to pick up, but uh, I gotta see what else is in the ad. Um, over at Vons. They have the regular, I mean, if you guys are in desperate need of toothpaste or if you know you could sell your toothpaste for a dollar a piece, uh, then they have Crest toothpaste for 99 cents a piece. Whoa. Um, and so you could spend, uh, we have a dollar, $3 off a two coupon. So technically you could get three of them for $2 and then you'll only be spending about 33 cents a piece for the toothpaste. Now, uh, kind of, it kind of depends on you if it's something you want to do. Um, over at Food for Less, it's also gonna have they're gonna have this upcoming starting Wednesday. Uh, the Crest also uh, when you buy 10, 10 for ten dollars. Now stuff like that, from what I can remember, the last time you don't need to buy ten in order to get it for ten, for a dollar a piece. You could buy just nine. Uh, or you could buy 12 if you want to buy 12 uh, and then you know you'll just be spending some money out of pocket now in my area uh, people like Colgate over the crest uh, but like I said it's just it all depends on you I'll probably stock up and grab a couple of those tubes I mean it's nothing spectacular it's just a regular basic toothpaste over a crest uh, and it's just something that will probably I can get rid of uh, and sell it and make like 50 cents off of it maybe uh, I don't think I'm gonna sell it I, I don't usually toothpaste I always sell it for a dollar I don't sell it more than a dollar unless it's that one toothpaste this is one that's like a crest that has like 
tastes like chocolate or something like that. Uh, last time I bought it, I spent money that I didn't need to spend. So I sold it for $1.50. Um, but usually I don't do that. Um, in regards to any other deals, I didn't see very much Albertsons. Uh, I think... No, I didn't see anything at Albertsons. They had a couple of things. But it was a $25. When you spend $25 in Parker and Gamble products, then you get uh, $5 off your purchase. They had some Pantene products. Uh, now, it might be worth doing depending on your, if you have that coupon. Now, I didn't get that coupon, but uh, there was something circulating on Instagram, a uh, Parker and Gamble coupon. It was a $4 off a two. It was in this week's, this past week's ad. It was just a flyer type of Pantene coupon because uh, we weren't expecting to get any coupons but that came uh, someone a friend of mine shut it out to me but I didn't grab any inserts I didn't grab any newspapers this week so uh, you know I'm out of luck with that but if you have that four dollars off a of two and uh, you can might you might be able to make a scenario over there at Albertsons on um, starting Wednesday with that coupon if you grabbed a couple in newspapers uh, and then uh, Depending on your area, uh, you know, what inserts you might get. Now, a lot of people are getting different kind of inserts this upcoming week. We're supposed, supposedly, we're supposed to be getting uh, one of each. A smart Source, Procter & Gamble, and also a uh, Red Plum. Um, different areas are going to have different coupons. Uh, my distributor that uh, gives out the, the coupons, that sells coupons, uh, he already mentioned that, you know, different in, they have different coupons and different inserts, you know, with different counties that you have. So you might not get the exact same coupons I get. I might not get the exact coupons you get. Just like what happened with the Vaseline. It was a coupon off of buy one, get one free. Now, uh, I'm hoping I can get that coupon hopefully today. It comes in the mail because I'm going to be really upset if it's already at the you know Friday and I barely get those coupons uh, on Friday so I do need to see who I purchased them from because I'm gonna know in the future not to purchase it from that person because it's just taking way too long uh, usually when I purchase them uh, off of couponfleamarket.com they usually uh, if I purchase them on a Monday then I usually get them like Friday uh, I don't think I've ever gotten them on a Saturday but it's already now going on Tuesday and I still haven't received them so it's just, that's something definitely that I need to take a look at um, but I think that was it oh uh, a friend of mine uh, I went and I gave her a bunch of coupons I had some coupons so we just kind of she gave me some of her the coupons that she got uh, these were the $2 manufacturer coupons, uh, Blinky coupons, it's Charmin. It was out in the East Coast. They don't sell them out here. Now, uh, my friend just gave me uh, the few that she had, uh, you know, because she was nice enough to do so. Uh, and then this is a $2 bounty coupon. Um, I only got a couple. I got three of the bounty and I think I got only got four of the Charmin. You know, it's something's better than nothing. So I'll use it at some point. I have a couple more weeks left to use them. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then, uh, yeah, I think that was it. Uh, the other coupons I shared with you guys already in yesterday's video on a uh, couple, these are the tear pads that I found over at, uh, yesterday over at, uh, Food for Less. Now I haven't found them at any other Food for Less. I did go to two others and I couldn't find them anywhere else. Uh, so, you know, maybe they just posted them up. Uh, and it's the same kind of, uh, if you've picked these up before, uh, they're in the same display box that you've seen at CVS and some of the other locations where you probably pick those up, unless there were one of those ones that were hanging. Uh, but this one where I picked mine up a, about a month and a half ago when they had them was on an extra display box that had the recess there and then they had these there. So, um, we have a lot of chocolate in our home but we love Reese's and I actually like this Nutrageous one it's pretty good so I try to limit and I only try to eat one a day 
um, of chocolate. Sometimes I'll just skip a day, but uh, I just didn't try to kind of eating most of the caramellos because those are the ones I didn't have any coupons for them but those are, are on clearance and I think I only spend like 25 cents a piece on them so I bought those at that time um, but uh, like I said if you guys get early earn suits you know see what you can compare over at Target there are quite a few different things you can do um, and then watch out probably I would take a look in the next week or two we should be getting some more coupons from Food for Less. Now, the current coupons that are out, uh, that they might you might see at some stores, there's only like two coupons in them, and it's not that great. It's for some type of food product. So, uh, anytime you can find, uh, you know, go into your Food for Less, going at least once a week. I would say going the day the, the days that they have the sales that starts the new week, which is Wednesday. That's when you'll find usually the new ads for different things that are going on. Uh, but I am going to try and try to find some more of these. I think it's a good coupon because they have some of these coupons that are, you know, that are, uh, high value, like the Colgate Optic White. There's a dollar coupon on there. There's a dollar off of, where is it? Dollar off of any mouthwash. There's some soft soap, uh, palm olive dish soap. The palm olive dish soap I am not a fan of and I actually have some coupons from uh, that I'm going to try to see if my friend wants to get them. Uh, I just don't have them with me so she might need to come over to my house to go and pick them up. But I'll leave it there guys. Uh, I'm just rambling on at this point. But there are a couple new coupons on coupons.com uh, within the last week so if you haven't printed anything out there were there's a few coupons on there that you might want to take a look at uh, I I think I only printed out like one or two coupons uh, just so I have an idea when I go to the store if I need to print out more then I'll do so uh, but we still have about another week so if you're gonna print out any coupons on coupons.com try to do so before the end of the month so I would say either by no later than the 28th or possibly the 31st uh, because and do it early on the 31st because uh, only reason I say that is because you know those coupons are not going to be available and then they're going to start a new month and then coupons are going to expire uh, so they'll get rid of other coupons but there are a couple of coup new coupons not a, a whole lot uh, that popped up so uh, that's it I'll leave it there I'll leave it there for now and we'll talk later. All right.